Welcome to Textbook Solutions. This is Sam. Okay, today let us discuss about backup. First, uh, as a brief, let us discuss what is backup and why we need backup. Okay, why? Uh, what is a data backup? And data backup is nothing but we are backing up your data which is needed, which is very important uh, to. Uh, I mean, we are taking copying. Uh, the data from the loc uh, location where you are saved to another secure location. Uh, generally, that's backup. You are keeping an another copy of your data securely. Okay, now let us discuss why we should backup. Why we should backup in case y you uh, lose the data, then you can restore it from the backup. The data loss can happen in many ways. It may be because of uh, your system crash, or maybe uh, your s you lost. Your, I mean, y somebody took your PC and ran away, or maybe in a disaster like flood, or uh, while having tea, the tea just uh, dropped uh, on your system. It may leads to crash your system. In that case, you can get the data from your backup. Uh, that's very important. <laughs> that's why we need backup. And last, what data you should backup? Actually, these even this is also very important because I if you are backing up some unwanted files which you don't need, uh, you are actually uh, wasting your storage in the location. Uh, that's the reason it's very important to decide what we need to backup only the important files uh, which uh, are required in future uh, for some reference or the data uh, file which you are working on it uh, those kind of s files you need to backup that's why before backing up a system we need to decide what we need to backup now let us discuss about types of backup. I'll, I'll just discuss the major types of backup here. The major types of backups are full backup, uh, then we have incremental backup, then we have differential backup. I'll explain each uh, backups in individually. Before going to that, uh, one important thing we'll discuss about archive bit. Archive bit is very uh, important for a backup in a server. Like the uh, archive bit uh, is mainly telling in the backup process that okay, uh, you take me backup. Okay, if um, uh, okay, I'll just uh, show you. Like uh, okay, it's something like the property. It's the property of a file. Okay, if you take the uh, right click and take the property and from the general if you click on the advanced tab you can see the first option folder is uh, ready for archiving that box is ticked which means the folder needs a backup <sighs> normally if you take a full backup the archive but after the uh, full backup the archive backup process will clear the archive, which means the uh, backup is already done. I'll, I'll explain you that in this uh, in the next slide. Okay, now we'll uh, I'll I'll just tell you. Okay, uh, this is uh, like if you create a folder newly, then this tick mark will be. Uh, I mean, this uh, box will be ticked, which means uh, ever since the file is created, it's. Uh, didn't backed up. Once it backed up, uh, the tick mark uh, w will go until there is another change. Which means ever since it's backed up or ev uh, after a modification, this tick mark will be there. Which means the file is telling to the backup process that, hey guy, please take me backup because I have an undergone a change or uh, I have created newly. Uh, that's why it's very important for the backup because uh, backup process always go and check whether the archive bit is enabled or not. Okay, now let us go to the backup types and we'll go in deep in that. Okay, first let us discuss about full backup. Uh, full backup from the name itself, it's full. Okay, if your backup uh, in your backup software, what you are mentioned as a content, it completely takes the backup completely. Uh, uh, like suppose if you have a 
system with uh, uh, 100 GB data in it, uh, then the complete 100 GB data will be backed up by this job. That's full backup. It's very simple. Full backup. It completely full, fully it covers full backup. Okay. Next is incremental backup. Incremental backup <laughs> will take only the changes after the a back uh, after the last successful backup which means I have taken a full backup uh, I can give you a picture for a better understanding you can see okay uh, in the, the full backup which is mentioned in the green is a 10 GB uh, okay suppose on Sunday the full backup has taken on Sunday uh, okay the next uh, incremental backup will be on uh, Monday or the next day whenever it's taking okay uh, Okay, incremental backup then next incremental backup will take only the changes only the changes happened after the full backup okay in this case we have 1 GB of change uh, the only that 1 G GB will be taken as a backup <laughs> on the incremental second job what is the changes happen the f happen after the first incremental only that change will be backed up and the third incremental also after the s incremental which basically after a successful backup whatever changes happened only that data will be taken as an incremental I hope you understood I hope it's clear let us move to differential backup okay differential backup okay from the uh, uh, image I think it's more clear for a uh, uh, differential backup uh, for full backup is same uh, for uh, all the backup the initial backup will be full because uh, the backup job should know what is the content even though if you run an incremental job incremental job will take the whole data because uh, in incremental job is the changes after the last successful backup if the first job is incremental there were no previous successful jobs which means it takes a complete backup then it's a full backup logically okay even for differential also okay now for differential the initial backup is full backup okay the differential one differential one will take the changes differential backup is the changes after a successful full backup which means on Monday uh, there were o only f uh, 0.5 GB changes after the full backup okay then the Monday job will take only the 0.5 GB but on the differential second even on um, Tuesday if uh, if it's differential second on Tuesday Tuesday only 0.5 GB is uh, changed then it will take on the Monday's 5 GB 0.5 GB plus uh, Tuesday's 0.5 GB which means the cha whole changes after a successful full backup which means uh, after taking this full backup this many change uh, okay on the differential one only this many changes differential two this change plus this change means 1 GB on the third day this change this change and this change from this you can understand differential ba backup need more storage because in this case it backed up only 10 GB okay then uh, oh, next change was 1 GB then 11 GB again it's um, 0 0.5 11 0.5 then 12.5 GB it backed up only 12.5 GB but if you see here it backed up uh, 10.5 GB, 11 GB, and 1.5, 13.5 GB. See, suppose if you have a uh, five in differential backup, it huge data will be backed up. But uh, for differential backup, uh, it's uh, very uh, it e restore will be easy because if you need to uh, restore from this backup, you need to restore only the first. F uh, I mean, the last full backup and the uh, current day's job which means all these data is included in this but if you need to restore incremental backup first you need to restore full backup then the first incremental then the second incremental and the third incremental 
that's how it works but most of the companies will go with <coughs> incremental backup because uh, it won't take much time to run the backup if it's differential backup the whole complete data needs to be copied if the incremental backup only the uh, changes after a successful backup will take which means the time is very less and the storage utilization will be very less and incremental backup once incremental backup is done it will clear the rk a bit which i explained in the last side it will clear it then it knows that uh, which all the folder it need not to be taken because wherever the rk a bit is take the, the only those folder will be taken uh, into backup but differential backup will not clear the rk a bit but in after a successful incremental backup that bit uh, that bit will be clear or that tick mark will be removed but differential backup will not do that the in this job it will do only after a full backup here also it will do after full backup and also every backup completion but in this case only weekly once it uh, remove that rk uh i think that's it from me i hope you understood if you have any questions please feel to comment i'm more than happy to help you please like share comment and subscribe for more videos